Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lakers trade pitch nets $100 million combo guard, keeps Austin Reeves in LA. The NBA draft is over, which means the new regime leading the Los Angeles Lakers can take aim at the free agent and trade markets that will determine their competitiveness next season. LeBron James remains an elite-level player, but he turns 40 years old in December. Anthony Davis, meanwhile, is coming off by far the healthiest campaign of his five-year LA tenure, having started 76 regular season games in 2023-24. And yet the Lakers clawed their way to the number 7 seed in the Western Conference by way of the NBA play-in tournament and, while they were competitive, found themselves dismissed from the playoffs in just five games by the Denver Nuggets. A postseason exit by way of the Nuggets following a play in berth has been the final scene in the script to both of Los Angeles's past two years. With J.J. Redick now in place of the departed Darvin Ham as head coach, the lineup clearly needs some tweaking if the Lakers hope to climb the mountain in Denver and subsequent peaks that may lay beyond in places like Minnesota, Oklahoma City, or Dallas. League insiders have focused most on a handful of possibilities via a trade, including combo guard DeJount Murray of the Atlanta Hawks. Los Angeles doesn't want to part with Austin Reeves as part of any deal, however. Kevin Pelton of ESPN authored a proposal on Tuesday, June 26, that would allow the Lakers to procure Murray without parting with Reeves. Getty DeJount Murray of the Atlanta Hawks in Pelton's pitch, Los Angeles would send Atlanta Gabe Vincent, Rue Hakamura, and first-round picks in 2029 and 2031 in exchange for Murray. When the Hawks made Murray available at the trade deadline, the Lakers could offer only a single first-round pick in either 2029 or 2030, plus swaps. That has changed now. With the New Orleans Pelicans choosing to defer the first round pick the Lakers owe them next year, Los Angeles can offer the number 17 pick as soon as it's made, plus their picks in both 2029 and 2031. Offering unprotected picks in both 2029 and 2031 seems fair, especially for a version of the trade that doesn't net Atlanta Austin Reeves as a replacement for Murray in the backcourt. Atlanta Hawks guards DeJount Murray, left, and Trey Young, right. Murray wasn't a superstar defender in Atlanta last season, though he posted a career year in terms of scoring. He averaged 22.5 points per game alongside backcourt partner Trey Young, while also putting up 6.4 assists, 5.3 rebounds, and 1.4 steals each night. Murray shot 36.3% from behind the three-point line on 7.1 attempts per game. The Lakers need 3 and D players alongside James and Davis, and Murray's increased accuracy along with his heightened willingness to let the deep balls fly is promising, especially considering he's proven himself to possess all-star talent overall. Murray made an all-star game during the 2021-22 campaign, his last with the San Antonio Spurs, before that organization traded him to Atlanta. That said, Murray's defensive rating was well below average last season. He produced a rating of 119.4, while the league average was 116.1. If Murray, who will play next season at 28 years old, can improve his defense and continue to hit the mark in terms of accuracy and volume from behind the arc, he would likely prove a valuable addition to the Lakers lineup. Murray is playing on a four-year, $114 million deal that keeps him under contract through 2026-27 with a player option the following season, an exceedingly quality figure considering his talent and the current NBA salary scale. Adrian Wojnarowski sends surprising message to critics of Bronny James' pick. ESPN reporter Adrian Wojnarowski on Thursday came to the defense of the Los Angeles Lakers and their recent selection of Bronny James. Wojnarowski appeared on ESPN's live draft show during the second day of the 2024 NBA draft. With just a few selections left before the Lakers' 55th pick, WOJ lambasted anyone who'd inevitably condemn the Lakers for potentially making a nepotism pick. I don't want to hear these charges, people talking about nepotism, said WOJ. 
the NBA is full of nepotism. The ownership level, front offices, coaching. I don't want to hear it all of a sudden because Bronny James' father plays for the Lakers. It is rampant in this league. The Lakers picked James, the son of Lakers superstar LeBron James, 55th overall in the 2024 NBA draft. Wojnarowski argued that nepotism is already prevalent across the league. But just because something unscrupulous has already been happening, doesn't mean everyone should keep doing it. Fair or not, Bronny James had a genuinely emotional reaction to hearing his name called as the Lakers' 55th pick video here. Bronny was selected despite his relatively meager production as a freshman at USC. In 25 games with the Trojans, Bronny averaged 4.8 points and 2.8 rebounds per game on 36.6% shooting. Lakers dubbed top destination for $49 million playoff legend following draft. The Los Angeles Lakers couldn't get past the first round of the 2023-24 postseason, which is a major defect they must consider when adding to the roster this summer. The last half-decade has seen Jimmy Butler miss more than 20 games for the Miami Heat on four or five occasions, but the hard-nosed grinders' playoff exploits are the stuff of legends, and the Lakers happen to know them well. Despite dealing with a plethora of injury problems in the lineup, often his own, Butler has led a number 5 seeded Heat team, 2020, and a number 8 seeded Miami squad, 2023, to the NBA Finals twice in the past five years, and made it to a third Eastern Conference Finals another season, 2022. Now, Butler could be on his way out of Miami, and the Lakers, who narrowly bested him in the 2020 Finals, are one of the best three landing spots for a man who could help them get back to the promised land for the first time since the league's COVID bubble. At least, that's according to Adam Wells of Bleacher Report. If LeBron, James and Anthony Davis decide to put pressure on the Lakers for an all-in move this offseason, Butler wouldn't be a bad addition to this roster. There's the very real potential for this hypothetical trio turning into a disaster because all three of them have injury question marks, Wells wrote on Wednesday, June 26. But if the Lakers can get one healthy season from all three of them, they could be as good as any trio in the NBA. Opposing teams would have all sorts of issues trying to score against Butler and Davis. Getty Pat Riley of the Miami Heat Butler was seeking a two-year extension with the Heat worth $113 million this offseason, per Howard Beck of The Ringer. However, Shams Charania of The Athletic reported on Wednesday that Butler will not seek an extension with any franchise this offseason, Miami or otherwise. His decision to play out next season commits him to Miami and clears up any notion of a trade demand due to the lack of an extension, Charania wrote. Butler has an affinity for Miami and has wanted to stay with the Heat, league sources said. The issue, however, isn't that simple. Team president Pat Riley indicated after the Heat season ended in the first round of the playoffs that he didn't intend to trade Butler. Riley also called Butler out for trash-talking teams like the Boston Celtics, who eliminated Miami in the first round, after being too injured to face them on the court and help the Heat advance. If Riley never intended to extend Butler on the kind of deal he wants, and Butler doesn't intend to sign an extension worth less than he believes he's worth, then the Heat find themselves at a tricky crossroads leading into the summer and up to next season's trade deadline. Butler will earn just shy of $49 million this year, after which he can opt out of the final $52.4 million season on his three-year contract. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Justin Simmons? Leave your opinion in the comments.